manufacturing, engineering, and service companies have dozens of active projects at any given time. There are usually project managers for those jobs and employees assigned as resources. I'm going to show you a manpower chart that graphically illustrates employee resource requirements. As a project manager, you'll simply create projects and tasks, set durations, and assign employees. The Gantt and manpower charts you'll see come directly from those tasks. Let's have a look. Before looking at the manpower charts, I'm going to scroll through this Gantt chart and you can see the actual raw materials that feed those charts. The wide blue bands are projects and then the actual tasks are underneath those. And so this is where the charts actually get the information to display. So I'm going to go to the view menu, choose project resource allocation. And here I'm looking at the entire company, showing uh, bars for each week, and then showing the manpower requirements for uh, those weeks. In this case, the company has a capacity of about 46 employees, but we're pretty under allocated here at 23, 13, 12 uh, throughout the weeks. So more tasks, more projects could be added uh, to these employees, as you can see here from the chart. Uh, now I'm going to switch over to the resource requirements grid, which is very similar to this. It's actually the same information, uh, but shown in a spreadsheet style. So you have your uh, total allocated resources on this line, which are the same numbers we saw earlier. The total capacity at about 46 employees, and then the percent allocated here. Uh, so again, we can see we're pretty under allocated on all of these. There are other charts that you might find interesting in this view, uh, like the total allocated time for groups or for individual people. Uh, as you choose the items from the drop downs, then you can configure this chart. And so that you have um, other charts available to you, like a, a task chart, a resource chart, availability chart, and then back to the resource requirements, which is the manpower chart that I showed earlier. And again, these charts are getting the information from tasks. If I open up one of these tasks, you'll see that they have start, finish times. In this case, this is a milestone, but they do also have uh, durations for each of the tasks. And so the bar charts will use the start, finish, and durations uh, for the charting of the manpower. So again, view project resource allocation. You can see the manpower requirements and compare that against your staffing.